I just want to say that, um, thank you. It's, uh, it's an honor to, it's an honor to be here and in a room full of creative people with vision and drive. I would like to thank my, my family and my, my professional team, my personal team, as well as my spiritual team for helping me get to a place that it would have been impossible for me on my own and also give me out of prison. <laughs> so far, so good, right? I'm just gonna wait for that to catch up. <laughs> just get a little nervous. I mean, I kinda know it, but you know, once you know it's there, you might as well use it, right? Um, so in this current culture of snap it or it didn't happen, it's clear that humans, being a social, social creature, want to be relevant and reflected in society. We want to know, do we matter? So in this time of social change where diversity is being asked for and even demanded, and women's voices are being heard from Hollywood to tech to politics, I am ever so grateful to witness the changing of the guard. And as a side note, the feminine will continue to rise. But it's beyond race and gender and religion, age or class. It's about human flourishing. That is what we should be going after. You could say that my career has been, um, I guess, a bit of an experiment in finding where I fit in or what, how do I matter. But I've realized that I've been stuck in a, in a doorway and uh, for a very long time. And I've been, I've been wondering if, sorry, my, I'm getting so nervous that it's like, you know, you can't even think. Um, yeah, you can, thank you. Uh, what, would that, what would that grant us if more of us actually stepped through that doorway and accepted that we always mattered? You know, how would, what would you do and how would you be? And what would our world look like? Thank you.